I love being a New Hampshire dude. I really do. I think we have some of the most fascinating places in the planet, right? Like Laconia, New Hampshire. Holy shit. It's amazing. It's a beautiful place. Fun fact about Laconia. Did you guys know that that's the only place in the world where you can get into a fight with a biker and a 12-year-old over the same ski ball machine? <laughs> out there playing ski ball I think I'm kicking ass I turned the 12 year old next to me I was like dude you, you've got to be jealous he's like why I was like look at all the tickets that I'm like this kid's like I got way more tickets than you bro I was like fuck you that's how I talk to children I'm from Manchester and I was like I got defensive I was like dude I'm a grown-ass man I could drink beer I could drive a car I could have sex with women this kid looks at me, he goes, yeah, you could, but you're at Fun Spot playing ski ball with a fucking 12 year So him and I are Facebook friends now. We're pals. The entire time I'm thinking, like, where's this kid's dad, right? Letting him hang out with a grown man who's dressed like the decoy from To Catch a Predator. I guess it's irresponsible parents. Oh, shit. I imagine it's tough raising kids. Who's got kids here? Make some noise if you got children. Yeah. People, I tell people that story, like, Nick, don't, you're such a man child hanging out at arcades and shit. Don't you want to grow up? Maybe have kids of your own? It's like, mm, no, court ordered, can't, not allowed to. So, yeah. <laughs> I am trying to take better care of myself, though. Uh, last year, I lost 65 pounds, guys. Wow. Here there's a button. Uh, the catalyst for me losing weight, I just wanted to look cool in a jean jacket. Like, that's it, right? Skinny guy, jean jacket, classic rock and roll look, always hot. Fat guy in a jean jacket? <laughs> just looks like he owes child support. So. Every time. But uh, the, the way I lost, people will say that, like, well, how do you lose weight? It's like, oh my god, it's fairly simple, you know? But it's like, shit ton of cocaine. Like, that's it. Like, that's all I did. Gone! You know? And then part of this weight loss journey is I also quit drinking alcohol. No applause. That sounds about right. Thank you, Manchester. No, that's fine. That's fine. I get it. I say I lost weight. Holy shit. You guys are like, fuck yeah, you did, Nick. And we're so proud of you. I say, quit drinking booze. You're like, fucking loser, dude. <laughs> fucking loser. But I get it. I think that's such a New England thing to associate like hard drinking with masculinity. And you guys should. It's Saturday. Paul, right? Yes. Pal, Pal's back there working hard. Get him some Pal. You guys should drink. Except for you. <laughs> Kidding. Have fun, live it up, it's, it's a good time. You guys should be thankful I don't drink anymore, because I assure you, if I still did, there'd be no booze left for you guys. It's like, yeah. <laughs> but now that I don't drink, I get excited about the dumbest shit. I got excited before a show because I bought a two pound bag of Twizzlers licorice candy. And I was fucking sucked, you know? Like, who does that? Like, children, me, and my meme. That's about it, right? <laughs> I was in Burlington, Vermont, doing these shows. I forgot I had the candy. Shows let out, right? 1 a.m., I'm walking down this beautiful main street. I'm dicking around on my phone. I remembered the licorice. So I shouted out loud, Fuck yeah, Twizzle! I was like, I was so happy. Uh, and then this drunk dude appeared and uh, came up to me. And he was like, fucking, what'd you say to me, bro? I'm ready to fight. I was like, dude, I did not say anything to you. He was like, yeah, you did. You said fuck you, then you called me a Twizzler. <laughs> and at first I wasn't scared, I was more confused. Like, why would this bro be upset that I called him a Twizzler, right? Like, what's a Twizzler? Tall, skinny, sweet, and delicious. That's what I'm trying to be, right? Like, what's a Twizzler? You know how, like, rappers use the N-word as a term of endearment for one another? Maybe we can start doing that with Twizzler. Like, y'all, what's up, Twizzler? Not much Skittles, when's Kit Kat coming by? Like, it could just be our cool thing. I don't think anyone would be offended by that. But then I explained to him, I was like, no, dude, you don't understand. I recently quit drinking. He was like, oh, so you're a bitch and you're gay. <laughs> 
I did have to think about it for a minute. I was like, well, I do drive that Volkswagen Beetle convertible. Uh, I did vote for uh, Adam Lambert for president. Um, and I'm looking fierce as fuck in this jean jacket. Surprisingly, not gay. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, look, dude. I was like, you don't understand. I was like, uh, I'm just a guy who's really excited about gaming. <laughs> and he was like, bro, I fucking love gaming. <laughs> I was like, dude, would you like some licorice? And he said, fuck yeah, Twizzlers! And now we're dating. <laughs>